Michigan played a really good hockey game, and uh, it's tough. This is uh, the worst part of of a season. It's only the worst part of my job because uh, we had such a great run, such a great group of kids, and uh, just a tough night. Just a tough night. When you look back at your time here at BU, what are you going to remember most? Uh, the brotherhood that you know we had with every team. You know, I, I, uh, every team was different, but. No, um, <clears throat> uh, every team was just as tight as uh, the first one, and you know you want to obviously leave a legacy and build off of uh, what you accomplished the first year because we had a really good first year, first run, like you were saying. And you know, each year your role changes as a guy, as a player. You go from the young guy learning what's going on to all of a sudden now you have to lead the younger guys, and you know I. Uh, couldn't thank Coach Quinn enough for giving me the opportunity to play at BU. It's uh, been amazing. It's been the best four years of my life. So it's uh, really hard to see it end. But you know, I'm super proud of all the guys in the room. And, you know, our senior class. We uh, a really tight tight group we had there, and we do every, we do a lot together. And you know, I consider everyone there my brothers. So you know, it's definitely tough to see it go, but. The amount of talent, the amount of work ethic in that room, I think that's uh, nothing but good signs for the future and the future of the program and how they're going to look going forward. How proud are you of this group this season? Very proud. It would be hard not to. You know, Like uh, these guys talked about, we showed an awful lot of the characteristics you need to get to this point. We thought we had them to be able to move forward. Uh, that's what makes us so hard. And I don't say this with any arrogance. I don't think anybody in our locker room expected to lose tonight. I thought there was an extreme level of confidence with an awful lot of respect for Michigan, knowing we had to do some certain things to win. You know, to accomplish what we have in the last two and a half months, 8-11 and 11 on January 6th. I know we keep referring to that day, but that was the reality of it. We were 8-11 and 11 and 1. And to put ourselves in this position uh, says an awful lot about, as Brandon alluded to, how much what a team we really were. Well, we stuck together. Uh, we faced an awful lot of adversity, and we kept moving forward. And you know, I've been fortunate in my five years at BU to coach some great teams. This certainly was one of them. Each team has its own uniqueness to it. And uh, you know, my message to him was: it's incredibly unfortunate the season ended this way because a lot of people didn't expect us to be here in this situation. Neither did we, and when I say that, we didn't expect to be in the situation of our season ending tonight.